John Conyers served in Congress for more than 50 years. With his career brought down in the midst of the Me Too movement, his legacy, though, is a rather complicated one. You're right. How do you remember a man who did so much for so many who needed him but left with an indelible stain on his reputation? Paula Tutman is live with more on that. Paula? Hi, good evening to you both, Devin. You said more than five decades. It's really closer to six decades of service. And when you take a look at all of that work, all of that service to country, then you really do have to ask yourself, what is the yardstick to be used to measure the legacy? On a street named for John Conyers near the Federal Justice Building, a lingering question in the minds of some. Is it justifiable to judge the body of work of one man by a microscope as opposed to a fishbowl? That is exactly how Hester Wheeler, former executive director of the NAACP and current assistant Michigan Secretary of State, put it. And I think the fact that some media folk want to focus on one or two negatives, uh, that's unfortunate. Not only was he a bona fide leader in civil rights, but in public policy overall, this guy is the man, and I think his legacy uh, will reflect his greatness. Conyers, elected to office in 1964, co-founder of the Congressional Black Caucus, longest-serving African-American member of Congress, dean of the House of Representatives, chair of the House Oversight Committee, chair of the House Judiciary Committee, champion of civil rights, warrior against domestic and civil wrongs, retired in 2017 amid allegations of sexual harassment. The allegations were never proven or adjudicated. You have chosen to continue a narrative of allegations versus a narrative that would highlight the work that he has done. We all fall short of the glory of God, uh, but the last time I checked, there was this thing called redemption, and it depends on where we choose to focus. Conyers, former communications director Randy Bullock, told me she had a premonition. And two days before the longtime congressman's death, she posted this on Facebook, saying, among other things, that she felt bad that he was forced to retire, and because of it, he will never get the accolades he deserves for his decades of public service. Now that he has passed, that we need to look at him and uh, know that he believed in what he was doing, and he believed it for those people he served. So there is another development that we should be keeping an eye on, and that is supporters are of, of John Conyers uh, are asking Nancy Pelosi to allow the long-term, long-time elder statement to lie in state in the Capitol Rotunda. That, by protocol, uh, is something that is reserved for sitting members of Congress as well as sitting members of the government. And so we're still waiting to find out whether or not there will indeed be a break in that protocol. Yeah. Yeah. And as you said, his family is not asking that. It is friends and supporters no. uh, yeah. of the late yeah. congressman. All right. Important distinction. Yes, sure thank is. you. All right, Paula. Uh